ho, 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 ho. <laughs> Welcome one more time <laughs> to the 12th day of Advent of Cyber here on, you know, my channel. I'm gonna do it on Try Hack Me. Uh, we have malware analysis today, and it is not my thing. I'm gonna try and do it as good as I can. I kind of recorded something, and something went wrong, so I had to restart my recording, and one more time laugh weird. So I just rebooted the machine everything and I just want to say that what you're going to do in the very start is to go ahead and access the uh, terminal down below here. Go ahead and go into the desktop and go into the malware sample and you have this mystery gift which is a size of uh, 270,737 bytes. What you're going to do now is go ahead and unpack that using the upx-d mystery gift all that is in the description here as many of it suggests some of it i'm not gonna do because i already got the answers by some of the other tools and i'm really gonna you know yeah think that much about it what you see here is that we're gonna use upx to unpack and i kind of just say okay so that is the question <clears throat> we have down here below the first one is like the architecture. I want to say that since there's Win64 right there in the format, I kind of guess there's not probably 64 bit. <clears throat> not really sure if it can just say Win64 here without being 64. I'm not sure about that. I don't think so, but that's my guess, nevertheless. I just use PUPX. In order to answer the other one here, you're going to run Kappa or Kappa or whatever. And you're going to do that on the. Um, Unpacked mystery gift, which went from this size to around double the size. You can see it's a 45.35% ratio, so it's gonna get about that. Running caper, <coughs> it's gonna do. <coughs> I'm sorry for my coughing, I've just been sick a bit better now, so it's been becoming better and better. Let's just press enter. Did I press enter? There we go. Um, so, uh, running caper is gonna perform another, you know, um, uh, static analysis. I don't know why it's so slow. There we go. No idea why. I just have to click five times at into the day. And when you're doing more static analysis, you're just poking like, dit, 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 hello, are you there? <laughs> to the uh, to the to the binary file. You know, this is this is a binary file, but it's without the extension because it is not. Um, in order to execute files in Windows, needs to have an extension. That is what Windows use extensions for. That's not the same on. Uh, Linux, they will just, you know, do a direct execution by dot slash and you're gonna go ahead. Now, the analysis of this is gonna create some output and um, do I also have to press enter to get the output? That's weird. But, you know, if you experience this, I'm gonna keep this because <coughs> maybe you also have the same errors and I will show that you just need to press enter on the keyboard. And then it will work. I don't know why. Maybe it's because many people are using it at the moment. And you're going to get all the output here, which is kind of boring, but it's going to help you to answer what is the compiler used. And the compiler used is uh, right here. Compiler with NIM and the amount of different um, attack techniques discovered using discovery tactics by Mitra or Mitra or whatever you want to call it. It's actually just right here on the Dimitri attack tactics. And you see on Discovery, you see two different lines, which is going to be one, two, and right number two. That's about it. Now, all that is just static analysis. Now, dynamic analysis is where you have to run the program. So let's close down this window here. Go to the Mello folder. And let's put on a .exe on this file. Don't run it yet. <laughs> Go ahead and start up the blue process um, monitor tool right here and that is a tool that can monitor a process in order to capture the process we're running which is the name of mystery gift when you run an exe file in windows it will automatically be named the same as the file name.exe is <coughs> so mystery gift is going to be the process name so you're going to you're going to have to attach that to the process name with contains, it could probably also be is, but uh, uh, let me just do this mystery gift. You add that, 
and you will see it has the include on the action. You will see a lot of exclusions right here on normal processes that it shouldn't be looking for. Let me click apply now and OK. Now you will see nothing yet because we haven't run it. So let's go ahead and run this file. You say, oh dear malware guard, let's click the file and run it and you will see this it's really weird, it stays. I have to put enter there as well. It's like that my... Enter, 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 enter. <coughs> it's like my Windows has, you know, bugged up totally. I have no idea why. Is this an unlucky instance on try hack me? Not really sure. Let's be honest, I don't really care about it. Let's just click on the uh, show registry activity. We can see the registry activity. I don't know why the window is open. You know, from what I understand, it should be open closed to you, probably the same. <coughs> if you read the tutorial, you will know that you need to exclude the different kind of keys, like rec open key. So right click, exclude rec open key, exclude rec query, query, query key, blah, blah and exclude <coughs> rec query key, rec query value, rec query, query key, there we go, and exclude rec close key. And that <coughs> gonna bring you back to having these uh, lines left. The, the, the interesting ones is the one with the create, uh, no, not yet, why well, too fast? I think I'm reading too much. The interesting ones right here is actually the, the processes of the create key. And you can see that it's running there. So you're creating a direct key in the registry. <coughs> so basically, I think we have to answer some questions now. What is the registry key abused by the malware? I th think this is the one. So let's copy paste it. Can we just do that here? No. Uh, where was it again? I need this copy pasting thing. Where are you? I think, what if I do view full screen? Allow. And then, oh, so much better. <coughs> copy paste this. And now I can go directly copy pasting. So I put in the uh, name there. Mm, no, it's gonna be the wrong one. Why is that? Oh, I put it in the wrong place there. What is the value written in the register key based on the previous question? The value written. So we need to. We need to. Uh, let me just see. Uh, doot, 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 doot. Where is? The value written. I need to f remember this. So I think we should. Um, what is this here below? Rich set value. And the event is going to start. Very interesting. What is all this? So let's just have a look at it. Mm. I need to remember this. So we are. Oh yeah. So the data is set on the. It's very small. <coughs> yeah. So the data is set, and the question is, where what is the value written on the value to keep based on? Now. This is the key creating and the set value is afterwards going on. So the written value is going to be this. And it says like administrator updates roaming and wishes that bad. I think that's going to be um, the answer for that, to be honest, because it looks weird. What are the names of two files created by the malware? I think one of them we just have there is wishes that bad, which kind of correlates to this right there. And. Files and uh, now we're gonna change because we now we're looking at you know register keys so we have to change to files and looking at different kind of 
this is extremely small and I apologize for that. Maybe I can increase the, the font size. I can, so, oh, there we go. So I really hope that you followed so far. And you can see right here that, oh, that's really good, that scrolling down, you'll see a lot of, okay, so let me explain this. On Windows, when you run a program on the mystery gift here.exe, you will uh, execute the file. <clears throat> and when you open an exe file, it, it, it will also open a lot of DLL files, you know, and that's that's just some of the dynamic library operations that it's going to use. So let's assume that this program is, is programmed in C sharp, for example, which is a Windows language thing on the architecture of Windows running on, then uh, it's going to include a lot of DLL files. Now, weird file names is going to run through all this, and I just saw one of them just before. And hovering the last, you see you have this test.jpg and you have wishes.bath. So I'm going to go ahead and it looks like that test.jpg and wishes.bath. That's probably going to be the answers, which is correct. What are the two domain names when the malware has initiated the network connection? So in alphabetic order. Now, in this particular case here, you're only seeing uh, <clears throat> file system activity. The other one is network activity. So that is... Uh, what? Network connection to track me remote. Oh, so I, I'm getting an unstable... Um, why? Now it's kind of crashing. Please don't. Oh no. All right, so uh, I'm gonna pause the video and get back to this stage here and reboot the machine. Oh wait, reconnect? Maybe, maybe, maybe. Please, drag me, please. Good, so we, I, I click this uh, tab here which gonna open up the network connections. And right of the bat, we see two domains, best festival company and virus total. Scrolling down here, we see, no, that's gonna be it. So what we're gonna do is go ahead and say, best festival, can I copy paste that? Because that is a huge name to the term. So best festival and virus total.com. Thank you. Going back to strings inside the malware sample, what is the complete URL used to download the file? Um, uh, <clears throat> the complete URL, what is the hint for that? Use the text, it's easy again to use strings functionality. Let me just go ahead and where was that again? Detected easy. I haven't used that before. Uh, nope. Uh, nope. Uh, nope. D. Come on, please. Where was that program? Detected easy. I see sublime text, I see notepad plus plus, but I don't see any detected easy programs. I haven't used that so far. <coughs> Where did I store that? <coughs> so they giving, yeah, so Okay, we can we can right click on it and like this and detect it easy. Now let's see if it still works. So that's gonna be a bit small. We cannot do anything of the size. Uh, let's see what was the strings there. Press the strings button, and using that you should be able to search for. Can I write HTTP maybe to, okay, so it's a live, yeah. So typing HTTP colon, you're gonna get the best festival, tmhfairvicon.ico. 
I think that's gonna be the one, so copy string. Go down below, paste it in, and that's gonna conclude this task. All right, so guys, um, a wall, you know, I um, I wanna say that the general thing about, you know, this detected easy program is that this is a static analysis program. If we look at the file, we get different kind of informations about it. It will also show this is a, a AMD64 architecture, as you can see right there. It's a little confusing that it got this hovering thing, but I don't really know. Um, and then you're gonna use the, uh, the, 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 the process monitor to monitor the process using different kind of buttons. You know, this is a very simple example, and I remember doing uh, forensics on in, in London, where I was doing that, and we didn't use these tools exactly, but we used something similar. But it was not malware analysis, it was more like detecting, you know, specific behavior on a Windows machine. So the same kind of thing going on, looking at, you know, paths and it's just basically kind of flavor you have to be, you know, if, you, if you're that kind of flavor, you know, you're gonna do these kind of funky things, you know, so probably go ahead and, and stick to these kind of exercises. Yeah, this is not my thing. I don't know much about it, you know, I, I know enough to solve it, but it's, it's just, uh, yeah. Great task, by the way. So, I want to say, like, <laughs>